Hello readers and digital people, and welcome back to GP Reads. I am your host, Grant Reads, and today we are going to keep it short and simple. We are going over the new legendary and a theory submitted by you in the comments. In the last video, I spotted something that seemed like a Shenlong type of Chinese dragon hidden in the shadows on the right side of the screen during one of the shots. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why would there be a Chinese-esque dragon in a game that's inspired by Spain? There just so happens to be a festival in Spain called the Dragon Festival. And I quote, the Dragon Festival is a Spanish free festival which ran from 1997 to 2009. Okay, well you're probably thinking to yourself, well that's not enough to equate to Spanish dragons being a theme. Well, in Spain they also celebrate the Chinese New Year, and they do celebrate the season of the dragon. So it could connect in that way. So John Upton's theory is that legendary Pokemon have something to do with the stars. Or, if not the legendaries, at least a big part of the story. As you pointed out, there are a few star symbols in the office room. And there are also star symbols in the Japanese logo design. Also, along with being the colors of blood oranges and grapes respectively, stars give off either a red or blue light depending on their respective energy. Stars also play a huge role in Spain's early naval exploration. Okay, so now if we take the idea of stars and planets being legendaries and look at the constellation Draco, which is a dragon, and a lot of art depicting Draco, it is a beaked dragon. A beaked Shenlong like dragon with a mane or frills. Now look at the image side by side. It really seems like that could be the Draco. Christian de Jesus in particular said the dragon looks like a rooster or eagle. And it could represent the Spanish rooster if you look at those side by side, but I don't think that's where they're going. It looks a little bit more like a dragon's mane. It's a little bit more out of control. And I mean, for Pokemon, they may make a rooster super frilled and super crazy looking. But at the same time, they also may combine that rooster theme with a dragon theme and make a Pokemon based on both. So I guess we'll really have to see, but I'm really, really curious to see where they go with that. Now, Jasmine Jackson was actually the first one to bring to my attention that the apple things that I saw was actually a blood orange, which makes a lot of sense when you think of Scarlet, because, you know, Scarlet is the color of blood. And Jasmine Jackson also has a cousin named Dimitri, who lives in Spain. Jasmine Jackson says, well, there's a theory on Fukoko. He said it could be a fire ghost type in its final evolution because he said it relates to a ghost story that was brought up to him. Okay, now taking that concept into mind, look at Fukoko's face. Now this is more Mexican inspired, not quite Spain inspired, but I do believe that they celebrate some of the same things, so this could also be inspired by that. But have you ever seen the white face paint, the skeleton face paint for the Day of the Dead? So what I'm thinking, and I really like this design, this is a really cool concept. In the final form, it elongates as a pepper, and the pepper body shape becomes the ghost, and then that white face pattern will become a skull. So it'll be almost like a ghostly dinosaur or dragon fire type pepper. A cousin also said that the cathedrals also serve as a school, and when he was little he used to go to school in a cathedral. And that huge building, like a cathedral with a giant pokeball on top, could be a school that the trainer is studying in. And that's all I really wanted to cover today, just kind of wanted to give an update. As more stuff comes out, we'll be talking about it. But thank you all so much for commenting, thank you for the theories, thank you for the ideas. I'm really, really curious to see where they go with this Spain-inspired region. And if you all think of anything else that I didn't cover today, anything else just from the trailer and what we've seen so far, Please leave it in the comments below. I will read it and maybe we'll talk about it. Thank you all again so much for stopping by today. Plenty more videos on the way. I will see you soon. And as always, keep your eyes wide open and never stop reading. I'll see you all. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. Thanks to you, I'm able to do what I love. All proceeds go back towards the channel for props, for costumes, and for any trips we take or any games we play. CNK114, Investigator Zeus, Dobby's Music, Jerry Mullins, and Free Spirit Katie. Really, thank you all so much for allowing me to do what I love to do. 